Okay. So maybe you have heard about this one. So I, I remember, I think it was uh, your episode with uh, your episode with the uh, the Linux team, I believe. Uh, okay. He was talking about Hannah Mont or yeah, he was talking about Hannah Montana or Linux, right? Okay. Okay. Did you know that there is a Rebecca Black OS? Uh, I am aware of that one. Yes. Did you know that they supported Wayland in 2013? When did Fedora start supporting it? Is that before Fedora? I'm pretty sure that's before Fedora, but I don't I don't remember when Fedora did it. Um I oh, and funny fun fact, uh Rebecca Black OS is still being updated. Um yeah. Why? I, I was looking it up for uh I was looking up uh I was trying to talk I think I was talking about why so many distros and I stumbled across Rebecca Black OS and then I saw the update was literally 2 days before I was recording. I'm like Wow, that's pretty crazy. And then, uh, but yeah, they they apparently implemented Weston in 2013. Rebecca Black OS <laughs> it wasn't like Debian usable. Debian's live distribution to be used to run Wayland desktop sessions. Rebecca Black OS can run a number of popular open source desktop environments on top of a Wayland graphical session. The distribution was and remains one of the only Linux distributions to run a Wayland session from live media. The distribution is available in 32... Okay. Wait, also it's a 32-bit OS support as well. They didn't drop... Yes. What? It's... Like, I just I just found it incredible that, like, that was a thing, and they mm. were doing it back in 2013. And I'm just like, wow. That's that's pretty crazy. Yeah, no, it actually is. Uh, I got the idea to name a Linux distro after my favorite celebrity after I saw some earlier Linux distributions named after celebrities. And also this KDE blog post. Uh, this is amongst the first live distribution to provide a Wayland server. <laughs> Wait, so it has nothing to do... It, it's not like Hannah Montana Linux where it's like, you know, a, a you know, it's just Hannah Montana themed. It's just a regular distro that happens yes, to be called Rebecca is... Black OS. Yes, it is. And uh, I think it even, I want to say that I even saw that he talks about that and like ultimately says something like, you know, without the copyright material or something. Somebody yeah, was comparing yeah. it to Hannah Montana without the copyright stuff. I'm like, <laughs> I mean, okay, that's really random. But yeah, I mean, I was, I was really surprised when I found that in the, uh, the random internet <laughs> Linux knowledge base. Mm -mm. There are a lot of weird, very weird projects out there that just, just, someone felt like was a good idea at some point in history. A lot of the oh, time absolutely. it wasn't. <laughs> but, but I just find it cool that it's still being updated. That's oh, the no, part that's, I find amazing. That's the most ridiculous part, yeah. There was... Yeah, there's project activity two days ago. Why? Yeah. Why? What, what, what are you doing? 